वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर एंड कॉमन करियर पाथ इन इंडिया विच इज सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग मेनी ऑफ यू हैव आंस मी अ लॉट अबाउट दिस सो आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक दिस वीडियो इन विच आई बी शेयरिंग सम टिप्स रिगार्डिंग सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सो बाई द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो यू विल बी गेटिंग लिटिल सीक्रेट्स अबाउट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग एंड विच विल हेल्प यू टू ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू अ सक्सेसफुल सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड एंड इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो हिट द लाइक बटन डोंट फर्गेट टू मैंशन ऑल योर queries in the comment section if you're new to my channel subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of my latest videos so let's get started habit of reading codes reading codes can expose us to the new language functionality and different coding style reading code is a good habit which can make us a productive programmer reading code is really worth it for what it builds in your brain the more you learn to read other people's stuff the more you are able to invent your own in the future so now there might be a question in your mind how should i read code approaching a code base like you would approach a typical book reading from start to end this is how computers read code themselves find your way of learning different humans learn differently some would love to write the code and just learn someone would just love to read and watch videos and learn what is my method of learning is that i would prefer to watch some tutorials or take up some course to learn something i'm not a kind of person who would just directly go and write the code i prefer taking guided tutorials and then expand my ideas so it is very important for you to take or understand your path of learning this will make your learning very easier and effective Of both short-term and long-term goals, the most effective engineers are those who never lose their sight from their long-term goals, and they also understand day-to-day -day activity required to reach over there. The key to success is the completion of their day-to-day -day task with the bigger picture. The ability to balance the long and short-term perspective is what separates really good software engineers from the ones who are just okay. Practice the skill by thinking about how individual components you are building to contribute the product as a whole. How they'll interact with each other, how any changes to them will impact the scope and direction of the project. Even if your long-term vision stays the same, there might be twists and turns along the way that you need to adopt to without the whole project being derailed. adaptable problem solver it is very important for a software engineer to understand that their job is to solve a problem not just write any piece of code so it is very important to understand which technology to use which technique to use which is best best for what what are its trade off this will make you a better software engineer better contributor in your team and a good decision maker don't be a technology fundamentalist who always tries to fit the problem to the tool they know just because your favorite technology or technique can fix a problem does not mean that it is the right one to use makes perfect problem solving is the best way to become a great software engineer so pick problems around you solve them using your favorite language which can be anything c c++ java javascript python etc if you don't know don't worry pick any courses or tutorials across web and get started tech industry is one of the fastest changing industries today Sometimes it is hard to keep a track of ever evolving ecosystem of software development especially when it comes to web development but in order to stay relevant it's mandatory for every engineer to keep learning new technologies programming languages frameworks techniques best practices skills etc you need to invest both money and time 
Many engineers have full-time jobs and they do their learning before or after work or sometimes during their weekends or holidays. You need to invest your time very smartly. It does not mean you need to learn every framework or library blindly. It does not mean today you are learning React.js, tomorrow Vue.js and next week AngularJS. You, need, you don't need to switch between so much between books, trainings and these courses. You just need to keep a checkup with yourself where you are standing now. Ask yourself what you want to be. You want to be a front-end developer, a back-end developer. What are the technologies and frameworks which are growing in your interest field? Ask yourself why you want to learn something, like whether there is a concrete reason or not, whether you want to change a job or you want to get high salary, anything or you are learning for just for fun. Every learning has got any reason. Just find out and then the learnings will be very easy and effective for you. So invest your time very crucially and very effectively. hesitate to ask questions. Sometimes we feel that we can no longer ask questions because this would undermine our reputation. But this is completely wrong. Whether you are starting your career or you have got 10 years of experience, if you don't know something, you can ask. Nobody can know everything because this software industry is growing with the furious speed. In addition, asking questions from time to time will help you to establish a healthy relationship with your co-workers. If junior engineers notice that their opinions are being heard, it will help them to increase their self-confidence. And by asking questions, we can discover new solutions to the problems that could have never been thought of because the longer we work in a certain environment, the more we are stuck in terms of our thinking. So whether you are a beginner or a professional, keep asking questions. Successful software engineers do not bring ego at their work. They stay humble. No matter how good you are at whatever you are doing, you may not be always right. Your team members might have constructive feedback regarding your code review, which can make your code better. When this happens, you have to be okay with other people pointing out or correcting your errors. You also have to accept responsibility for your mistakes and be willing to learn. That's why humility is such an important quality for developers to have. The ability to take criticism and corrections from others and channel that feedback into improving will make you a better developer in the long run. So in this video, I have talked about different tips of software engineering which I have implemented in my career and which has helped me till today. So if you like my video, hit the like button to mention all your queries in the comment section. If you are new to my channel, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications of my latest videos. Thank you.